Hey guys, it's Matt here with Acoustic Selection. Hope you're doing well. As many of you know, I teach beginner guitar. And one of the things you really struggle with, I believe, as a beginner, um, at least I did, is the problem of having every song sound pretty much the same. And that's what I'm going to try to go over is a few things, um, a few strumming tricks that can help different, differentiate your song, especially for songwriting and things like that. Um, I'm going to use a simple song, the chorus of a simple song I wrote called You Found Me Jesus. Um, the chords are going to be C, G, D, E minor, C, G, D. So um, if you're just starting out with the song, you'd probably just do down strums. You found me, Jesus. You came and rescued me. So glad you found me, Lord. So you just do down strums like that. After you get more comfortable, you'll be going down and up a little more. Now both of those sound really good, so uh, there's nothing wrong with either one of those. But a few tricks you might want to throw in to help kind of again switch it up is one, um, work on the volume, your pitch up and down with your strum. And you do that by emphasizing certain strums more than others. You found me, Jesus. You came and rescued me. So glad you found me, Lord. You found me, Jesus. Once we lie, but now I see. So glad you found me. So that's one good method is really emphasize that chord change and more than even a chord change in a four count beat you'd emphasize that head note boom 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 so you're kind of hitting that first note and then just maybe the bottom three or four strings just up and down a little bit until you're ready for that full chord again. There's a couple methods. Let me stop this before my battery runs out. Okay, I'm back. I, I filmed these, all my videos with a Panasonic GH2 uh, uh, SLR camera. Love the camera, love the quality, but the battery life is awful. Anyway, back to the strumming. Um, sorry about that, Panasonic. Uh, so we're talking about first that, that emphasizing. Now the other thing you want to work on, that I use, you hear me using so many songs, is being able to mute them. That's a palm mute. So it's let that first strum hum a little while and then mute down and strum again. The ability to stop the strings is so key and it's going to take a while. If you're starting out, uh, don't really work on this one, but as you get more and more advanced, uh, the ability to stop that string to make that chord change when you want makes a huge difference with your strumming. So, uh, and you might do the um, just kind of the chop method as I call it. With, you found me, Jesus. You came and set me free. You so glad you found me. You found me, Jesus. Once blind, but now. That's a good method to kind of help switch up some of uh, just using the chopping down and you're not playing so for a C you might play just the middle five three and four how 
I haven't gotten to feel that touch to know how much the string to press or totally mute them versus totally leave them open. That takes a little time too, but that's something you can work on. Um, one of the things without a pick, you kind of pinch, stop them, and then strum. You found me, Jesus. You came and rescued me. So glad you found me, Lord. You found me, Jesus. Off the line, but now I see. So glad you found me, Lord. And then so that's another great method, kind of the, the pinch, the top and bottom of each note. Um, and then the last one I'll go over is uh, let's see, you get the bass drum. You found me, Jesus. You came and rescued. It has more of a country feel to it, but you're just hitting a bass string and down up into the next bass string. Now I realize I'm going pretty fast, so break these down, maybe write them down, and see which ones you can maybe start working on for your practice uh, methods there. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, the last one there. Uh, hammering on and pulling off strings makes such a difference. So you'll see me do that so much in my video. Cause it gives a little something a little extra in that sound. See you hear that? Here's a regular. Here's a hammer on. Hammer-ons are great. Maybe even substitute the strums with some open strings. So work on all these methods. I'll, tr I'll try to list. In the description here all the ones that I played there but I break it down to see if you can work on some of those to keep your strumming from sounding just so beginner and basic hope you guys have a great day instead of devotion I'm gonna leave you with a song um, I've already recorded a little bit playing around when I was writing it called uh, we can't count on others and it deals with um, my family's global mission work in uh, Nicaragua we're building a Bible college uh, planting churches and helping the needy if you want to see about giving to that or learn more about it Go to AcousticSelection.com and I've got under Give and Missions and stuff all about that. Um, but I'll leave you with a song called We Can't We Can't Count on Others. Meaning we have to be the ones that go out and do the mission work if it's going to get done. We can't count on somebody else to do it. Hope you guys have a great day. Check out the video here. This song I wrote for the um, Project 14 Global Missions called uh, Count on Others. <laughs> There's a lost and dying world outside It's wondering what to do Sisters and brothers We can't Count on others I pretend this
I'm lost in time, world outside. It's wondering what to do.